and back at the station. It's raining. We're in the EDV. I'm a rescue today, which is awesome. No call outs. Should be a pretty chill day. We have 26 drivers, 24 routes. I'm a rescue. Somebody else is doing EDV training. They're gonna rescue after. My DSP has just over 2,200 stops, just over 5,100 packages. I think our lowest stop count today is 37 stops, all apartments, still like 259 packages, I think. Our highest stop count is like 160, but it's in the neighborhoods. It's a step van route. Looking like it's gonna be a good day despite the rain. I think it's supposed to stop soon, hopefully. Let's get to it. Rescue secured. There he goes. Three totes, two oversize, 54 stops. So deceiving. Stops is kind of like the standard for measuring how much work you have left to do. But at Amazon, we have grouped stops. So even if you stop your van, you might be going to two houses on one side of the street, two on the other side. You might have two apartments right next to each other, so you can't always go based off of stops. They recently started adding locations. So now I know I have 51 stops, but it's 76 packages and they're going to 65 locations. In Amazon's mind, that means I'm gonna stop my van 51 times. That's more or less accurate. Sometimes you can stop the van, but walk to one or two or three stops. And then 65 locations tells me that even though I have 51 stops, 14 of those are gonna be group stops. All right, we're synced up. Let's get to it. So here's your basic group stop. One package goes here, one package goes there. Easy. It really gets annoying when your route has 160 stops, but really it's like 220 locations. We've been training a lot of new people on the EDVs because eventually Amazon wants everybody to be trained on them. One of our drivers this morning was talking about how her favorite part is how easy it is to get going once you're in the van. I'm in park, I'm stopped. All I need to do, and I'm ready to go. Okay, here's an example of a more annoying group stop. One to that house, one to that house, one to that house. So even though it's one stop, it's really three addresses and five packages. First rescue done, headed to number two. All right, I've got a Seattle gem for you. This is the house that the movie Up was based off. They literally built the mall right around it. Mall, mall, house. Google Edith Macefield House. The developers of this like Ballard Blocks project or whatever this mall is called, offered her seriously like millions of dollars to sell this land never sold the land so eventually they built them all she passed away i want to say like maybe 10 years ago she had no heirs although supposedly she was married three times i guess the signatures on all three of the marriage licenses are very similar so some people think that she maybe forged the marriage licenses and then her only source of income was writing children's books but nobody knows of any of the children's books that she's actually written. It's crazy seeing those old pictures of her little blue car in front of the house and the house is still there. This road is painted and this road too. This type of thing happens very rarely, but it does happen. This building, 420. That building, also 420. Can you guess which one I went to? The wrong one. I'd like to speak to a manager, please. Just got some excellent news. As you can see, van's empty. We're all done. Dispatch says RTS. It was indeed a very chill day. And to celebrate, we're heading in at 2.30. Nice. My DSP gets to the station at 7.15. Usually we're off the pad by 8.05 to the first stop by nine at the latest. So to be done by 2.30, it's pretty nice. Probably be back to the station, cleaned up, ready to head home by 3.30. I should have mentioned this earlier, but 
I went to Canada. I was in Canada yesterday. Drove out Friday night after work, spent the whole day Saturday, and then drove back Saturday night. So an early RTS is very nice. Make sure we've got that green light. How about that? It's still light out and everything. All right, well, we've come to the end of another video. So uh, thanks for watching. Check out the Friday shop. I'll link down below. We've got hats, we've got shirts. That's all we got, but I'm hoping to make some more stuff soon, including maybe some one-off stuff because People have been requesting hoodies and totes and different hats and all that stuff. And I can't make a full run of everything, but maybe I'll make a few of each. Check out my video of our Canada trip if you're into that. We had a lot of fun. Time to RTH. Return to my house. Apartment? I don't know. Oh yeah, one more thing. Shout out to Chris. Laos House on YouTube. Whoa! Why are you guys doing that tote? He was doing FedEx and he was doing Amazon. I guess he's not doing Amazon anymore. Chris, tell us what you're gonna do next. Always love watching his videos. Check him out. Also, I just stumbled upon this dude, Randy from UPS. Dude, this guy's awesome. Welcome to my first Randy with UPS YouTube video. As I'm recording this, he's only made like three videos, but they were all very informative and very interesting. If you're a delivery driver and you wanna do this full time or like as a career, definitely check out Randy and what it's like doing it at UPS. I always forget how much they get paid, dude, but it's a lot. Definitely a lot of work, a lot of hours, a lot of overtime, but this dude was wearing short sleeves in the snow and he has a mullet, so I think he can handle it. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. See you next time. Goodbye.